Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What is going on with my Capricorn at this very moment in time? What does Capricorn need to know? All right, let's see. For your highest good, let's see what's going on. All right, we have Boar Ferocity. Taurus just got this. We have Crab Retreat. You could be dealing with a Cancer. We have Crow Sovereignty. And so I'm getting like the Death card. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or have a highly aspect, highly aspected. And we have Bat Direction. I'm seeing that as a Two of Wands. You're taking a new direction here because something is ending. You're ending something. You're ending it. You're retreating from something. Your whole perspective or mind has changed about someone. Whereas maybe before you wanted this thing, but now you're retreating from it and your whole perspective and mind has changed about it. You've come, you've come like, you've made peace with an ending and you're choosing a new direction here. And I feel like someone else is not happy about that. I feel like roles have reversed. Whereas initially you really wanted to fix something. And now you're retreating because boy ferocity is like going at something with like, 100 miles per hour like you're just like i want this i want to fix it i'm going to fix it then you have retreat and then you have sovereignty so it's like you you moved away from something and you made peace with an ending and now you're moving forward with the two of wands here the back direction but now i feel like someone's aggressively coming towards you so you're moving away from a masculine energy that's really like aggressive or whether that's someone else outside of you or the energy you had all right for capricorn take it how it resonates Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For Capricorn, the highest good of Capricorn. All righty, let's see. All right, we have the Hangman, Pisces. Hierophant, Taurus. Definitely check out the Taurus reading. Six of Cups, someone you had um, kids with or someone from your past. Five Pentacles. I just got someone you um, grew up with feels like they owe you a promotion. I don't know if you work with or for them, but they feel like they owe you a promotion or something. All right. Over on you, just nine of Pentacles, single, solid, stable, and abundant. That's what you are. Okay. Yeah. Sovereignty. Because I feel like you, you pulled yourself out of a situation by your bootstraps, by the skin of your teeth, I want to say. It's like someone was trying to hold on to you or someone is trying to hold on to you. Or you were trying to hold on to something. Now you're not, but that person wants to hold on to you. So with ferocity and the hangman, someone's trying to hold on to you. I'm getting it's a Taurus, but take it as it resonates. Could be a Pisces. Someone's trying to hold on to you while you're trying to move away. Someone here could have cancer in their chart. It's something to do with children, childhood, or the past. Maybe you had a higher commitment to them because of um, your history with them or you have children with them or something. Or you worked with them or something like that. Or you dated them, whatever. But now it's like, with sovereignty, Crow, it's like this person may have drained you in some way, either mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, or financially. Um, I'm Obviously, you're the Nine of Pentacles as the overall energy, so that's nothing to worry about. It'll be replenished or it already has been. I feel like, yeah, with the Five of Swords, someone wanted to say, like, put you at a disadvantage. I feel like someone was using you. Because they saw that you had resources, so they wanted you to provide for them. And I feel like you had no problem doing so. I feel like you felt like like this person was like family to you. So you're like, yeah, I'll help you. But this person drained you and you had to pull yourself out of it. And you were at the five of pentacles by the time you were done. And it's like, you met this person when they were at the five of pentacles and you were at the nine. And you've been given to them for so long and they're still the five of pentacles. To the point where, that's like one of those energies where... You meet someone who's at a lower vibration than you and you think you're going to bring them up. But no, they bring you down. This person brought you down when you were with them. But now you're back up. Now that you're cutting them off. And this person's, of course, very upset that you're cutting them off. I feel like this person, like, drains you of your money, time, energy, or emotion. I feel like you had a higher commitment to them in the past or they made you feel like you owed them in one way, shape, or form. They made you feel like you owed them. 
but you're realizing that you don't. That's why you're moving in a new direction and this is going to give you the Nine of Pentacles. Clarifying the hangman is the Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius holding on to you. Yeah, Nine of Wands. You're guarded against this person. Wounded warrior energy, Nine of Wands here. You want nothing to do with this person, but they want, they're like holding on to you. You're guarded and they're holding on to you. You have the King of Wands here with the Hierophant. So someone here could have fire, highly aspected. We have the King, Queen of Wands. I feel like there was a fiery attraction and commitment to each other at one point, but it's like there was a codependency here. The Chariot, Cancer Energy with Retreat. I always get Crab Retreat with the Chariot. That's why I say it's Cancer Energy. Yes, yeah, someone decided to move on. Someone wanted this commitment more than the other. I feel like you decided to pull away. Doesn't matter who left first. You decided to pull away while someone else is still holding on here. I feel like even if you did want this, you pulled away anyway. You moved on. And I feel like that was for your highest good. So if you moved on from a connection that was codependent or addictive or whatever, you the moment you left, it accelerated rapid. Your life accelerated rapidly. Your job, your career accelerated rapidly. While you were in this connection, or if you decide to stay in this connection, you will be the five of pentacles drained. But if you leave, the moment you leave, you get the nine of pentacles. You get the hierophant, the chariot. Clarifying the six of cups and three of pentacles. Now this person wants to work it out with you. I felt that. I knew that from the jump. This person, the six of cups, clarified by the three of pentacles. I feel like in the past, you tried to work it out. But now this person from your past wants to work it out. Yeah, they're going to message you. Page of Wands. Of course, Mercury Retrograde is coming up. This person is going to message you because they want to work it out. They want to be your friend. They want to start again. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles of the um, Ace of Cups. This person wants to start again. <laughs> two of Wands. But you want to move on. And I, like I said, Bad Direction. I always get the Two of Wands with Bad Direction. Over on G's the Empress. Libra and Taurus energy. So definitely check out the Taurus reading. You're over it. You're done. You are in your Empress energy. You are in the Nine of Pentacles, single, solid, stable, and abundant. Guaranteed, within a week of blocking this person or cutting them off or just not talking to them, pulling your energy away from them for a week will show you an extreme difference in yourself. I feel like you're going to meet someone new anyway. The new person could be a fire sign. You could be leaving a Cancer or a Taurus or vice versa. Put it where it goes. It's going to be different for everybody watching. But the signs I'm seeing here is obviously Taurus, Libra. Taurus is here twice. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Cancer. We also have Pisces with the hangman. Take it as it resonates. But you have a new love offer here. Someone who's better suited for you. And then you have a past person here who drained you and they're just coming back to do it. I don't think you should take the past person back. I think you should go towards the new person. Yeah, I feel like there's a new commitment. For some of you, you just got into a new relationship and it's triggering your past person to come back. It's like life is going great for you. Or if you're single and you just want to be single, you're having a great relationship with yourself. And your self-love and confidence is on a thousand. <laughs> You're doing very well for yourself, whether you're in a relationship or not. And those of you who are in a committed relationship where nothing is going wrong, your connection looks healthy and looks great. It's going to the next level. You're overcoming whatever um, whatever obstacle you have. But I, I strongly feel like this reading is for people who are in separation because we have the Nine of Pentacles as the overall energy, even though you can be the Nine of Pentacles in a relationship. I'm just seeing someone trying to come back from your past, Six of Cups, with Three of Pentacles and work it out for you. Page of Wands, they're trying to message you because they feel a strong att attracted to you. They cannot let it go. They can't get over you. They're still hung up on you. There is a fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, could be a Taurus or Cancer or Pisces or Libra who's still holding on to you. We have the Nine of Pentacles as Virgo energy here as well. Someone is still holding on to you. They cannot let you go. They want a new beginning. They're going to try to act like they want to be friends, but they keep they can't help but flirt with you. They want a new romantic beginning with you. All right, I'm going to get you your final message. It's up to you what you decide to do. I don't feel like this person is fully developed or healed. I just feel like this person wants you. But take it as it resonates. Because if they drained you before, they'll drain you. They're not, they're not healed. They have not done the work. So I would not take them back. At least not right now. And I wouldn't wait on nobody either. I would never advise anybody to wait on anyone. All right, we have Hedgehog. 
vulnerability, hiding the heart tenderness. That's what this person is coming towards you to do. Confess their heart. And look, praying mantis, wit, manipulation, fun. This is a game to them. I don't trust this person. All right, we have knife, intention, conflict, resolution. They come in to start conflict. So let's let's point that out. This person likes to play games. They come in to start conflict. This is just some Mercury retrograde energy. They're not healed, like I said, because here they come back, play the, they're coming back to play the same old games and start conflict. They do not mean peace for you. Like when they say we come in peace, this person does not. All right, we have over energy spider, focus, planning, digesting. You're not worried about it anyway. You're focused on moving forward. Just know this person coming back. They, it's, they're on that same shit. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I'm saying peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.